Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time doing my first video on Back to the Pilot. Now, as you know, Back to the Pilot is pretty much me going to pilots that got greenlighted and sharing my thoughts on them. Keep in mind that Nostalgia Critic has Disney Chambers and Was That Real? And Linkara has his Power Ranger History Month. I wanted to do Back to the Pilots as my way of going through pilots that got greenlit. And the first one is meant to be Steven Universe. Now, as you know, the seven minute pilot of Steven Universe was released on, the, on May the 21st, 2013 by Re Rebecca's father's, father's YouTube channel and the Cartoon Network website. Now, the pilot is basically straightforward. It gives you the introduction to the Crystal Gems with some different designs, like Garnet having some shorter hair and a bit more skinnier, Pearl having some puffy pants and being not having the Pinocchio-like nose, and Amethyst kind of having a more different complexion. And the animation in the pilot is completely different, as the artwork was done by Sue Mondit and the timing done by Granny Turkoski. And the pilot story is straightforward, with basically Steven giving some dollars to get some hot dogs and having the kind of hourglass that kind of goes back in time in that. And we're introduced to the pilot version of Lars and Sadie. And after we see how Lars mocks Steven, he kind of uses the time thing to do comebacks, which is kind of the theme to the story. And we kind of see how it kind of adds to the point where Garnet has to get Steven to sort of come back with a comeback and him sort of undoing the damages that he just caused. So in other words, it's a straightforward first season story. And what's actually interesting is that the premise of the Hourglass was also used for Steven and the Stevens, which was sort of salvaging the pilot and using that for the story. And pretty much there are a lot of differences that I am going to talk about because when we are introduced to the gem's house, it's changed mainly because it's meant to be like a small kind of shack-like area, while in the TV show it's on top of a giant temple area. Also, another difference is the big donor is mainly close to where they live. So in other words, it's more having a small convenience store living in your area. And I also would say that the pilot seems to imply that Steven isn't really half gem, and it's kind of implied that he's mostly try was given the gem and kind of pretending to be a crystal gem. In other words, might have been more of a fanboy in the piloted one. And another interesting note is that in one of the episodes when Pearl regenerates, you can kind of see her going through one of her, one of her, to her original design. So implying they threw it in there as a giant reference. And I know that some people on YouTube had mainly shared their own um, ideas on piloted designs for Labrys. Lello Diamond, Paradot, Jasper, and so many things. So it kind of gives you this, what would have been had they kept to the piloted designs. And I would say the pilot isn't too bad. It's straightforward. It goes back to the early season stories. And basically it gives you different character designs. Like Lars having black hair, Steven being less having less puffy hair, also say he's still kind of being the same, but it still tries to keep it to the early season storylines. So the pilot, I think, definitely deserves a thumbs up. 
I think Rebecca Sugar knew what she wanted to improve on and changed some things around. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.